Hi, welcome for our uh, RTL Online Trainings and Placements in Oracle Fusion Cloud Finance Supply Chain Management, Human Capital, and as well as in Oracle UBS Technical. Yeah. Now, today we are going for another uh, quiz uh, in financials. We'll take up in Fusion Finance. We are going to start the quiz now. This is uh, for Account Payables module. We know that Account Payables is one of the important module in Oracle Fusion Cloud Finance. Okay. Can we assign AP payment terms directly to business unit? Why I have specified AP payment terms specifically is when we say payment term that we can find any account receivables also. Payment term is basically to prepare an invoice due date based on the definition, whatever we have defined. System will go for prepare the invoice due date. Okay, so now the question is, once the payment term is created, can we assign this payment term directly to the business unit? Because entire account payables model will work at BU level. So we, whatever the setups maximum we do, it, we will do it at business unit level. Right. So can we assign the account payables payment term directly to business unit? Yes, we will assign directly to legal entity, not to the business unit. Yes, we can assign. We will assign directly to the ledger. We cannot assign. Okay, so the answer is here, we cannot assign the payment term directly to the business unit. What we have to do is, we have to create a payment term and assign to the reference data set. This reference data set, we have to assign to the business unit. This reference data set, we have to assign to the business unit. Why this concept is introduced by Oracle is most of the business units follow the same payment terms. So instead of adding this one by one, we'll group the payment terms and we'll assign to the business unit. Okay. So we cannot assign directly to the business unit. That's the answer. Next, what is distribution set? We know that distribution set is one of the important thing in account payable setups. What is the definition of distribution set? Distribute set of invoice accounts. Distribute invoice amount to different accounts. Distribute your supplier amount to different accounts or supplier set of distributions, set of suppliers in the distributions. So these are the four options. Generally, we will be creating distribution set at the time of doing the setups itself. And of course, we will assign directly to the business unit distribution set. Distribution set is basically to distribute our invoice amount to the different accounts to distribute our invoice amount to the different accounts. Second is the right answer. Next, what is supplier data model? We know that uh, supplier is a very important uh, entity when we are working with account payables model. Of course, it is integrated with procurement also. Procure to pay cycle whenever we are running, supplier is the major object. As well as when we are working with order to cash cycle, Customer is the major object. Of course, customer uh, hierarchy is more complex than the supplier uh, hierarchy. Now, the question is, what is supplier hierarchy or what is supplier data model? Whenever we are going to create a supplier, first what we will enter, next what we will enter. So, these all are one to many relationships we will find, right? So, what is that data model or what is that hierarchy we have? Okay. So, what is supplier data model? Supplier supplier site, supplier contacts, supplier bank, supplier site assignment and qualification. That is one. Another one is supplier, supplier site, contact, site assignment, qualification and banks. Supplier, supplier profile, contact, site, site assignment and banks. The last one is supplier, supplier address, supplier site, supplier site assignment, supplier contacts and supplier banks. Generally, whenever we are working with supplier creation, first we will define the supplier, then we will define supplier address. Without address, we cannot create a supplier site. Address is mandatory. If we look at anywhere here, we don't have address. So the last one is correct. Next, we know that roles are important in Fusion Cloud application because the application is RBAC, Role-Based Access Control. For every module, there will be a 
four to five important job roles will find that we have to be very clear as a functional consultant, as a functionality of that particular uh, role. Uh, of course, in the real time, we'll be creating custom roles, we'll be customizing the existing roles and all. Now, the question is here, which role is not in account payables model? For account payables model, we have some roles, five, around five roles we have. So which one is not? Accounts payable payments manager, accounts payables invoice supervisor, accounts payable manager, accounts payable payments supervisor. Which role is not there? Which role is not there in our account payables model? You might have used multiple roles whenever you are practicing, right? If you want to work with the account payables model, means create invoice, cancel invoice, delete invoice, make the payments, create accounting entries, search for the entries, right? So accounts payable payments manager is the role which is not available, which is not available. Next, do we need to run the LDAP process after adding role to user? Do we need to run the LDAP process after adding the role to the user? We know that we'll be adding the roles and as well as the data access, right? So that time the question is, I have added the role to the user. So after adding the roles to the user, do you want to, do you need to run the LDAP process? Yes. Yes, we assign multiple roles. If you assign single role, no need to run. If we assign multiple role, yes, we have to run. No, we don't need to run any LDAP process whenever we assign the role to the user. Yes, if it is job role. Only if you add the job role, that time only we have to run the LDAP process. These are the four different options we have. So what is the right answer here? No. For the roles, we don't need to run the LDAP process. LDAP process is required only once you add the data access to the user where we will be combining the user as well as the role name and we will go for security context. If it is GL ledger or ledger set, if it is account payables roles or account receivables roles, we'll go with business unit. If we are working with the fixed assets, we'll be using the asset book like that, right? So right now I'm going to say that it's no. So that's the right answer. Okay, so this is about uh, the third quiz in our uh, Fusion Financials, which we have completed successfully. Wait for the fourth quiz. I'll be uploading in a couple of days. Okay, so if you are looking for any training and placement in Oracle Fusion Cloud Technologies, please contact our uh, training coordinator. You can find the number in any of these videos which I'm publishing. Thank you, and please share, subscribe, Press bell icon to get the latest uh, updates the moment when I upload the video into this to get the knowledge and more about uh, the new technologies, especially for interview point of view and also working in the project environment. Uh, it's going to be helpful. And please share this YouTube channel in your circle to reach to the maximum people who are working in Oracle, Oracle EBS and Oracle Cloud Technologies. Thank you.